Welcome back to our show. You know, there's no doubt that somebody up there really likes my first guest. She is one of the hottest gospel singers in the country and four-time Grammy winner. Her first four albums have gone gold, and this is her latest. It's called Make His Praise Glorious. Please welcome Sandy Patty. Sandy. <laughs> And that song fit into our theme yeah. so well. Isn't that amazing how that worked out? <laughs> Unbelievable. We never have songs that fit right into the theme. Sometimes we have to stretch them into the yeah. theme, but, but thank you. Uh, now, we, we have a common uh, yeah, Hoosier I, background. I bring you greetings from Indiana. Uh, what, now, you're from... Uh, from place? Anderson, uh, central Indiana. It's a wonderful place to, to live and make our home. But it's a small town, right? Yes, very small little town. Do you like, do you like to stay in this small I town? I do, very much. I grew up on the uh, West Coast and went back to Anderson to go to college and met my husband there. And it's, uh, we, it's very much home, and it's nice to be in a little small town small community. Mm -hmm. Now, your husband is also uh, your manager. Yes, is, he is. is. Is that a tough combination to... Uh, uh... Well, you know, there are days when, um, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think that pregnant pause said it all. Right? <laughs> well, you know, you... you no, might... I met your husband backstage, yeah. and he said it's, it's great. Yeah, it, it really is. There are, of course, days I'm sure you might have some struggles no, sometimes with any. your manager, and, oh. and uh, if I do, you know, I have to go home and cook dinner for him. Uh. <laughs> 
makes it tough. But he's he's kind of excited because he is able to say that he manages his wife, and a lot of husbands can't really say well, that about their wife. <laughs> well, a lot of wives have no talent, have nothing to manage. <laughs> so, you know, there's a lot of husbands out there that go, I wish my wife did something, I wouldn't manage her. <laughs> Um, now, tell me about uh, growing up musically. Who were some of your influences? And... Uh, Barbara Streisand was very much a big influence on my life. Karen Carpenter as well. Um, but I, Barbara Streisand, she just gets better all the time. Oh, right? yeah, she is. Now, yeah. uh, now somebody I read somewhere that, uh, you, was it your uncle? Was it? My uncle, yes, this is my, I, this is the closest I've ever gotten to Barbara Streisand. I was in her driveway once. <laughs> my uncle, <laughs> my uncle um, was kind of her handyman for a while and did some stuff for her around the house. And we went to his uh, home at Christmas time. She was not there, but he said, come on, you can stand on her driveway. Oh, he didn't like <laughs> He didn't let you come in and kind of root around no, through no, her no, drawers no. or anything no. like that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even ask See, him where where was my head. <laughs> Maybe there's some old music laying around. Yeah. And uh, uh, the jingles now. When did that? Yeah. That was uh, something that you did to kind of to keep pay going. my way through school. I did um, a lot of commercials for different things. Um, like everything from uh, banks to restaurants to dog food and potato chips and. Toilet paper. And now, how do you uh, how do you approach a jingle for say toilet paper or dog food? <laughs> now, what's my motivation? Uh, well, you know. I see we, hungry dogs everywhere. Yeah. Well, when we did uh, for a, a product called Chesty Potato Chips, uh, we had to be singing potato chips. So we had to sing while we were crunching celery, and um, it sounded like singing potato chips. I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, is there, is there a jingle that uh, we you could do a little of that we might? Well, um, you might know one uh, called. Um, it goes, love to chew juicy fruit, cause you love that juicy flavor. Uh -huh. Juicy fruit, the flavor lover's gone. It's one of a kind. <laughs> now, are you in the booth doing it like that? It's oh, yeah. One, oh, are yeah. You all <laughs> <laughs> Smiling gum. Uh -huh. And uh, you had a, a, a thrill, I guess, to, uh, to sing at the tw 200th uh, anniversary of the Constitution. You, yes. Did you get to meet the, the president? He was not at that particular function that I sang at, but a, a function called Christmas in Washington a couple of years ago. I got to meet President and Mrs. Reagan, and they were sitting on the front row when I sang my song, and um, that was a thrill for me. You know, when you meet the president and, and his wife, you just, you know, you want to be good. Um, this is your <laughs> only chance, and, and you just don't want to blow it. And, and everything was going so well until um, I went to uh, hug her at the end of and she said something very nice to me and I she had this gorgeous gown on just incredible and all nicely beaded and I went to hug her and caught my fingernail in her gown ripped it totally off I kind of you, you know, ripped her gown off no <laughs> um, ripped my fingernail totally off kind of picked it out of her and put it in <laughs> And uh, she was very cool about it, uh, you know, didn't really notice. Uh, come to think of it, though, my tax return was a little higher that year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not. But <laughs> They're watching you a lot closer <laughs> yeah, after that. They are. Well, listen, the album is, uh, is, your four, is your fifth or fourth? Fifth? It is uh, actually my um, ninth. Ninth album. <laughs> well, a little help from the audience. Well, Sandy, it's good to have you on the show. Good luck with this one. It's called Thank Make you. His Praise Glorious. Sandy, nice to meet Thank you. Thanks you. for being here. We'll take a commercial break and be back with Dick Van Patten to tell us why somebody up there likes him after this. Stay with us.